All right, everybody, this is the woodshed for November 20th on the day we are recording this. This is Brad. Brad's birthday. Go ahead and happy birthday, Brad. Brad. Woo, 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 woo. We That's all love Brad. Awesome. Here we go. Woodshed, November 20th. We are going to fire that countdown in five, four, three, two, one. Fire. What's up, guys? Welcome to another incredible weekend, another opportunity to meet with God. We're so thankful for that. And as we move into this Thanksgiving season, uh, thanks, thankfulness is a discipline that we can cultivate in our life. Gratefulness. And scripture says, godliness with contentment is great gain. So what is making you content? What's bringing you joy? What are you thankful for? Meditate on that, chew on that, and be sure to thank God for all the blessings he has given to you. Up top, we got the countdown. Uh, that is gonna go into a new tune, God So Loved. From there, we're gonna go into Great Are You Lord. Coming out of Great Are You Lord. We're gonna go to uh, our next steps promo More information coming out of that host will come out he'll give some announcements host will then toss to the Christmas series promo and for message we have a very special guest this weekend Halloran Hilton Hill you may know him from the radio and other things as well uh, Pastor Chris will come out set him up real quick and then uh, he will have 30 minutes he will pray at the end we'll make sure he gives a clear segue back to your campus pastors they will do gospel they will also set up communion and while we're taking communion, worship team will pray, oh, plays the name. Coming out of that, we'll go to generosity. Generosity will toss to worship recruitment video. And then we'll close it out with an invitation to meet people in the lobby. And uh, let's be sure and, and find some new folks. Always looking to grow our team. Always looking to connect people to their purpose so they can win their world. We love you guys. Thank you guys so much. I am thankful for you. We're thankful for you as a team. Couldn't do it without you. We love you. Bye. Have a great weekend. What's up, they promise? Come on, we're going to worship and give praise to our God the testimony that we have in him. Let's sing this together. Come all you weary, we sing. Come all you weary, come all you thirsty, come to the world that never runs dry. Drink of the
Freddie Lord and D. step on your spiritual journey, it might be as simple as helping to make this world just a better place, a place that looks just a little bit more like God's kingdom. 
one. Well, we have created our Next Steps experience to help you take that next step. And we want to help you make the intentional step of bringing God's kingdom culture into your home, your work, your friends, and your heart. Next all right, Steps just a reminder, is all about equipping welcome you groove is with in the practical, key of D. thoughtful action steps. We we're want fire to build your two, character, help you learn three, and live God's commands, three, and be two. a model of Christ to your community. And most of all, we want it to be about helping you to discover your purpose. Seconds. We want it to be about unlocking that divine design that God placed especially in you. So sign up for our upcoming Next Steps experiences today. We'll provide dinner, childcare, and everything you'll need to take your next step seconds, with guys. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, two, one three, four. Go. What is up, Faith Promise? Welcome to your campus this weekend. My name is Justin. I get the honor of serving you as part of our staff team. Hey, we love you. We are so thankful that you decided to spend the weekend with us. And hey, if it's your first time, welcome. Church, let's give it up for our first time guests. Hey, that's awesome. We would love to connect with you and help you on your spiritual walk. A couple ways you can do that. You can take the card that's in the seat back pocket right in front of you, fill that out and drop it in the offering bucket. It comes around later in the experience or take out your phone, your mobile device. Take a picture of that link on the screen behind me. And if you are a first time guest, we would love to meet you at our first time guest table that is in the lobby. Go straight to those doors at the conclusion of our experience. We have a gift for you. We want to help you develop and we want to help you take your next step on your journey with God. And hey, speaking of that, around here we say the next steps is your next step. That is right. You just saw a video about that. We believe that everyone has a God designed purpose that we want to help them unlock. Our next steps experience is designed to do just that. You can take out your phone, take a picture of that link on the screen. Uh, that will sign you up for our December 11th cycle. Step one starting December 11th. We'd love to see you there. Next step is just around the corner. Something else just around the corner, Christmas time. Yeah, it's such an amazing time of the year. Hey, we get to celebrate what God did for us when he gave us the best gift ever, his son, Jesus. And hey, every year we have an opportunity to be like God, to provide for those in need through Love Local Christmas. We believe every kid wants to wake up to a Merry Christmas, but for the under-resourced and the marginalized families in our communities, Sometimes it can be a challenge just to make ends meet. And sometimes Christmas gifts can even be out of the question. So one of the ways you can partner with us for Love Local Christmas, hey, grab one of those Christmas tags at the display in the lobby. They're also gonna be in your seats. Our campus is sponsoring this nearby school. It's a great opportunity to live out our love people value by showing people Jesus love through your generosity. Again, grab one of those cards in your seat or in the display in the lobby. Help us to love local. And speaking of Christmas, all throughout December, Faith Promise is going to be taking you on a journey. We believe that Jesus's first steps Team can teach us by. about our next steps with God. All through this month, we'll be taking a look at what we his will early take it out on the floor like. on my call. We're also going to be having a very special family Christmas Eve service you won't want to miss. We've had our promotional team do some advanced visits to show you all the places that we'll be visiting. So check this out. Right here. Six and four. Yep. Won't you come with me on a journey to a slice of paradise I like to call the town I'm currently in. The air here is sweeter than anywhere else. There's enough room here for the whole family. No, there's not. We aren't all big cities. We're quiet little towns. And say hello to the locals. They are so excited to meet you. I am so excited to... No, Carl. Make yourself at home and book now. Start your journey at faithpromise.org slash Christmas. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, this will be where your resi picks up. Pastor Chris is going to come out. He's going to introduce our very special guest communicator this weekend. That is Halloran Hilton Hill. Give it up for him. All right, Halloran is going to come out. 
He's going to speak for about 30 minutes, and at the conclusion of his talk, we're going to help him segue back to campus pastors, probably through a prayer, but we'll make it very clear. So that is happening right now. Okay, we're back live at every campus. Your campus pastor is taking it over with the gospel. So that pad is going to come in right there, and we're going to walk people through the sinner's prayer. Everybody bow your head. Faith Promise Church, no one prays alone. So let's pray this together. Team B on standby. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Church, give it up for those who just made the most incredible decision they ever made to trust Jesus with their heart and their life. We want to connect with you if you just made that decision. So you can take out your phone, text the number on the screen, 217-5656, or you can mark it on the communication card. And again, drop that in the bucket that is coming around later in the experience. Hey, are we thankful for what God did for us when he sent his son? Right now, as our worship team comes back out, I'd like for us to take just a few moments and honor Jesus' sacrifice through communion. Scripture says this, as often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Communion is a, is a chance for us to stop and thank God for showing us such love that he would send Jesus to give his life for us. At our response areas, we have communion cups ready for you to take, and they're gonna have bread and they're gonna have juice. The bread represents Jesus' body that is broken for us, that we can be healed. And the cup represents his blood poured out for the forgiveness of our sins. So our music team is gonna play quietly. You can come on down, respond as God leads you. Please take communion with us. We also have our crosses. You can stop and pray. You can light a candle. But in this quiet moment, we're gonna all gather together, take the bread and the cup, remember communion together. So as God leads you, come on down as our team sings. Team load in. Our track. Intro, two, three, four. To Calvary, where Jesus bled and died for me, I see his wounds, his hands, his feet, my Savior on that cursed tree. Verse 2, Tom, 3. His body bound. And drenched in tears They laid him down In Joseph's tomb The entrance sealed By heavy stone Messiah still And all alone Oh, we praise your name Four, three, four. Oh, oh, praise the name And done. 
you, God, for being the one who gave us forgiveness. You sent your son to love us so much. Thank you for being a giving God. So, hey, we want to be giving in return. At Faith Promise Church, we love people. And one of our partners, 410 Bridge, is showing Jesus' love to people in amazing ways. We've been working with 410 Bridge in Irrigathathi Village in Kenya for over five years now. We first started the village when we dug a well for water, and we've been partnering with them for the next eight to ten years to graduate them off needing financial support. We're, gonna, we're right now entering the second phase of that project, which includes a business startup training, working with them on farming. Hey, about 90% of the community members are farmers, and that's their main source of income. So it's our goal to send one team of 12 every year. And this past year, our campus pastors got to go. They got to partner with over 50 local pastors to help them with church planning, leadership development, to help them plant groups, and help them grow their congregations there. And it's because of your generosity that we get to partner with organizations like 410 Bridge that are loving people and winning their world. And again, it's because of your generosity. So, hey, we want to invite you to take your first step on the generosity journey. Even a small act is an act of obedience to God, an act of thankfulness for what he's done. And if you've been given for a long time, we're grateful for you as well. You make these generosity initiatives possible. Our team has come around with the buckets right now. There's a lot of ways you can give in addition to those buckets. You can go to faithpromise.org slash give. You can text give plus the amount to 865-409-0600. You can visit one of our handy kiosks in the lobby. You can always we'll mail in your one. giving. Be sure to indicate the campus you attend on the envelope. So right now we're going to pray just a brief prayer that God would bless these gifts, multiply them to change the world. Pray, pray, pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Isn't that cool that we get to impact lives all over the world? We want to help connect people to their purpose, both in Kenya and here in your town, Knoxville, Maryville, wherever you are. We want to connect people to purpose. One of the ways that we can do that is through ministries like our worship team. Check this out. Three. Yeah. You're on a one, sizzle. Okay, my name is Mary Jo Maddox. I got involved in the worship team at first at Blunt in about sixth grade. Serving has given me a whole lot of opportunities to grow because being surrounded by a whole lot of other people who have been growing in Christ to just look up to and know that maybe that's how I want to grow in my faith also. The more I've served and the more I've gotten more involved, it's just, it's given me hunger to learn more about God. How I got involved was just being more in love with Jesus. The more in love you are with Jesus, the more hunger he's going to put inside of you to want to serve. I feel like that's the way to be about this situation. Because if you're Nine, able to give Jesus eight, all of yourself, seven, you're definitely going to have that hunger to serve five, and learn more about four, it. Three, two, one, two, one. three, four. Hey, anyway, that is Mary Jo. She serves at our Anderson campus on our worship team as well as in our kids' ministry. And she is one who's learning at an early age to live out the gifts that God has placed inside of you. So worship team is a great way for you to do that. We would love to meet you in the lobby right now. As soon as our experience ends, our team's going to be out there to connect with you. We have so many great opportunities for you. And that you don't just have to be musically talented. You can serve in production. You can serve in catering, creative arts. We have lots of places for you to use your gifts. We, again, we'd love to meet you right out there at the conclusion of our experience. Churches have been great to be here. We love you so much. Enjoy your Thanksgiving holiday with your family. Be blessed. We'll see you next Take week. Take it in. One, two, three, four.